Hi guys, it's another YouTube Homework Helper, and today we're going to be working with multiplication on a number line. So let's get started. All right, I noticed that I see a, hop, a frog there, and we're going to make that frog hop. We're going to show four, let me get my pen ready, we're going to show four hops over five spaces. You could do five hops over four spaces, it doesn't matter. But we're going to go ahead and show four hops over five spaces. So we have to start at zero. That's our starting place. So I like to put a little star there to show that's where we're starting. And then I'm going to go over five places. So here's five, and then one, two, three, four, five. Here's five. So watch. This is one hop. This is two hops. One, two, three, four, five. This is three hops. And one, two, three, four, five. This is four hops. Now, the last one that we hop to, which is 20, is what our actual answer is. So four times five is 20. And that could mean, if we look down here at the commutative property, the commutative property means we can swap four times five or five times four. So I'm going to go ahead and write this down at the bottom. I'm going to say four times five equals five times four. So that's what the commutative property means. It means you can take those numbers and swap the two factors. That's what those numbers are called. The number four and five are actually called factors. And my answer is called the product. So I can take the factors and I can swap them back and forth and it still gives me the same product at the end. All right, let's try another frog hopping. Okay, here I'm going to hop nine times over three spaces, but you could do it the other way. Um, but I'm going to hop nine times over three spaces. So I'm going to start at zero. I'm going to put my star there to let me know. And let's see, I said I was going to hop nine times over three spaces. So one, two, three. Here's the first place I'm going to hop. And I have to do nine of these. One, two, three. There's my second hop. One, two, three. Here's my third hop. One, two, three. Here's my fourth hop. One, two, three. Here's my fifth hop. One, two, three. Here's my sixth hop. One, two, three. Here's my seventh hop. One, two, three. These are a little smaller here now. This is my eighth hop. And one, two, three. This is my ninth hop. Now, again, that means that nine times three is going to equal 27. It's counting by threes. All right, for my commutative property, I know that nine times three equals the same thing as three times nine. All right, let's go to the next one. All right, this one I'd like you to try by yourself. I know it's a little tricky because you don't, uh, you don't have access to write on the computer, but if you do, try it uh, and come on back and see if you can figure out that answer and I'll show it to you. Okay, we're gonna do five hops of six. All right, so I'm gonna hop five times. So here is, I'm going to go over six times. Uh, I'm going to go over six, one, two, three, four, five, six, and I'm gonna make five hops. That's one hop, one, two, three, four, five, six. That's two hops, one, two, three, four, five, six. That's three hops. I'll let you know a little secret too. When we hopped one time, that is actually going to be um, six times one. The second hop is six times two. The third hop is six times three. So when I go over here, this is actually my fourth hop, which is six times four or four times six. And when I make the fifth hop right here, oops, forgot my four. This is going to be five hops, which is six times five. And my answer is right there, which is 30. And the commutative property means five times six equals six times five. Okay, let's go to the next slide. Now, we're going to have to trade it around. I did all the hopping, and now you're going to have to write the multiplication sentence. So we'll do the first one together, and then you'll have two to try on your own. 
All right, first of all, I want you to notice something really important. This is my starting place. When we get to division, we're actually going to hop the opposite way. So it's very important to know that we start at zero. So I started at zero, and I noticed my first hopping place says six. So I think somewhere in here, I'm, I'm going to be using sixes, okay, because I've made six spaces over. And when I hop over again, that's another six. So I'm, I skip counting by sixes. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and where did I land? This is my final number right here, which is 42. Where I land is my answer, 42, and I hopped over six times, but I hopped over the number, let's see, I hopped over seven times, but I hopped over six counts, six um, skip counts. So, commutative property, six times seven, equals seven times six. I can just swap those two factors around and still get the same product. All right, you're gonna try the next one. Try this one, write out what the multiplication sentence is. Come on back and look. We'll... Okay, here we go. First of all, I start at my zero. Yes, I did. And I noticed that the very first hop I made was a 10, so I know there has to be a 10 in there somewhere. I noticed that I had one, two, three, four hops, so I know this is 10 times 4, and my final destination, my final hop was on a 40, so that is my answer. Commutative property, 10 times 4 equals 4 times 10. All right, one last one. This one might be a little trickier than you think. Go ahead, figure this one out, and then come on back and we'll check it. Okay, did you notice this one's a little bit different? Still starting at zero, as we always do in multiplication, because we're getting bigger. Notice that I'm going to end at 11. So I'm going to go ahead and put my 11 right there. Now, how many hops did I make from, or how many skip counts did I make from zero to one? I only moved one time. I only moved over one space. So how many hops did I actually make? One, two, three, four five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Guess what? I only skip counted by one eleven times. So that means one times eleven equals one. Now if I go down to the commutative property, I know that I can say one times eleven equals eleven times one. Notice that I have something else here called the identity property. The identity property says any number times one is the number that you started with. So the identity property basically says one times 11 equals 11. It's because I've only multiplied it by one, so it's only the number we start with. All right, you guys are totally awesome, and hopefully you've gotten better at number lines. Have a good night.